Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelvin here. So, if you have been paying attention recently, Facebook has changed their name to Meta. Why? Is it because they're fufu, nothing better to do? Nah, there's a real reason to this. There's this thing called the Metaverse, and in the future, it will become big. Like, very, very big. How big? Morgan Stanley recently estimated that the Metaverse market is worth $8 trillion, which is almost more than double of Japan's GDP. Very big oh! But as of right now, the Metaverse market is still very new and we are still very early to the game. So, in this video, I want to share with you 6 ways to invest your money in the Metaverse so that you can catch the wave and quite big big. But before I start, I would greatly appreciate it if you can help to tap the like button. In return, I will show you a chihuahua. Alright, let's start right now. So, maybe you are blur blur and be like, what is Metaverse? Can it win now? Metaverse is the next version of the internet. So right now, when you use the internet, you just open website, click here, click there, right? But in the next version of the internet, you will have Metaverse, which is a 3D world where you can do all kinds of stuff like go to school, go to work, go to concerts, or even play games with your friends. All without leaving your house. Ah, but you still have to go downstairs to buy your chai fan. That one cannot do in Metaverse. Ah. Right now, there are probably a few stuff that are similar to the Metaverse like Pokemon Go, where you go and catch your Pikachu. But it's very limited right because you can only see it through your phone. Or for some people, through the army of phones. Another example is Odd Space VR, where you wear this super big Oculus headset, enter a 3D world and interact with other people. But all those are just the early version of the Metaverse because the Metaverse can do so much more than just play games and talk to other people. So now you understand what's a Metaverse. Let me share with you 6 ways to invest in the Metaverse. Number 1. Facebook. This one don't really need any introduction huh? All of us use Facebook every day right? Some people like to post photos of themselves on Facebook. Some people just use it to look at photos of other people. But recently, Facebook has announced that they will be investing $10 billion into their Metaverse project. Yes, including spending money to redesign their logo and doing up some super nice looking 3D stuff to announce their Metaverse plan. On top of that, Facebook will also be hiring additional 10,000 more people to work on the Metaverse. If you check Facebook's current number of employees, it's only around 60,000 people. This means that they're planning to commit around 16% of their workforce to this project. So it's obvious that they are serious about this whole Metaverse thing. Don't play player. Now, even though this project will take a few years to develop, I feel that Facebook is well positioned to make it happen. In terms of active users, Facebook has the biggest market share in the social media space. They have the money, they have the talents, basically, they have everything needed to build the metaverse. Over the past 5 years, the stock has been going up fast and furious, giving around 180% returns. In their last earnings report, their profits beat estimates but misses on revenue, which is a small issue because if you look at the long term, Facebook has been growing steadily. Their daily active users going up, revenue going up, gross profit going up, and it has a revenue growth of 35% year over year. Going forward, with them going big into this project, Facebook will definitely be a big player in the metaverse. Second, Unity. As a game programmer myself, I used to eat, live, breathe in Unity. So, just in case you do not know, Unity is a game engine to make games. There are lots of popular games that were made in Unity, like Pokemon Go, Mario Kart Tour, and Among Us. In 2020, they estimated that 71% of the top 1,000 mobile games and 50% of cross-platform games were made with Unity. It's clear that Unity is very popular, but here's the thing, Unity has evolved to do more than just games. People use it to create products visualization for automotive, transportation, manufacturing, architecture, engineering, and construction, and even film animation and cinematics. What this means is that Unity will be widely used to develop stuff for the metaverse. And Unity knows this very well. A few weeks ago, they announced that they acquired Weta Digital. You may not have heard of Weta, but you have definitely watched films created by Weta, like Avatar, Lord of the Rings, and very recently, Shang-Chi. By acquiring Weta, the company will be able to add more VFS tools into their game engine and thus further improving it. Unity had just IPO last year, but the stock has already went up by over 190%, reaching all-time high. Now, even though Unity revenue and gross profit is going up, achieving a revenue growth of 42% year over year, the company is actually still losing money. This is because Unity is spending a lot of money on research which I believe will pay off over the long term. Unity's revenue model is a simple subscription model. 
This means that once people have signed up to Unity, they will keep paying subscription fees year after year. And with the metaverse market becoming big in the future, I foresee that more and more developers will use Unity to build their world. Third, Autodesk. Autodesk is also another very important tool for the metaverse. The difference is that while Unity is used to put 3D worlds together and can program stuff to work together, Autodesk is used to create the building blocks for the 3D world. Autodesk is actually quite old, with it being founded in 1982. And throughout the years, they have developed a lot of products. They have AutoCAD, which is used mainly by architects and engineers to create 2D and 3D drawings, or Maya, which is used for 3D animation, modeling, and rendering. Basically, a lot of the stuff are widely used in the professional industry. If we look at the stock, over the past 5 years, it has gone up by over 300%. Revenue and gross profit has been going up year over year, with a revenue growth of 16%. And best of all, Autodesk started becoming profitable recently. Similar to Unity, Autodesk revenue model is also a subscription-based model. This means that once a user has signed up to Autodesk, Autodesk will continuously print money year after year. In short, Autodesk is definitely a key component in the metaverse, so I believe that it will do really well going forward. Fourth, NVIDIA. To run a 3D world, you need, yes, 3D graphics card. So this is where NVIDIA comes into play. If you have a PC, chances are it is using an NVIDIA graphics card. PC Master Race! As of Q2 2021, NVIDIA's market share for dedicated GPU is around 83%, while AMD is only 17%. So NVIDIA is dominating. But NVIDIA is not just graphics card, graphics card everywhere. They have gaming laptops, monitors, and AI-related products. However, one thing that stood out was their Omniverse. In Omniverse, you can do 3D simulation, creators, designers, and researchers can collaborate with one another in this shared virtual space. For example, BMW started using the Omniverse to simulate the factory and to teach the robots new skills. As for the stock, over the past 5 years, NVIDIA has gone up by over 1000 plus percent. As expected, NVIDIA's revenue, gross profit, and net income is going up, achieving a 50.3% revenue growth year over year. So with the metaverse coming, NVIDIA's hardware and software will definitely stand to benefit from it. Fifth, metaverse ETF. Now, maybe you are scared that you might invest in the wrong stock. Ah. Then, in that case, you can invest in the Metaverse ETF. Because this ETF will have all the stocks that are related to the Metaverse. You won't pick the wrong stocks if you pick all of them. The Metaverse ETF is called Meta, offered by Roundhill Investments. It has all the stocks that I mentioned just now, and even more, like Roblox, Microsoft, Amazon, Tencent, Qualcomm, and so on. The stocks are chosen based on a few criteria. Compute, networking, virtual platforms, interchange standards, payment, content, and hardware. This ETF was launched not too long ago, so there's not much data on it yet. The expense ratio is 0.75%. It's a little expensive, but this is a thematic ETF, so the high expense ratio is actually quite normal. With this ETF, you will enjoy all the usual ETF benefits like diversification, automatic rebalancing, lesser effort, which will allow you to do more meaningful stuff like playing with your hamster in the metaverse. Overall, I expect the performance of this ETF to do well as the metaverse grows in the future. So the next investment is not a stock and it's not an ETF either. It is crypto, specifically Ethereum. Let me explain, while the metaverse needs 3D stuff and hardware, the other thing it needs is ownership of stuff and economy. In the metaverse, you will definitely be buying and owning stuff, like your digital house, digital car, digital Nike shoe. Yes, the digital Nike shoe is a real thing. For this to happen, you will need NFTs. If you want to understand what's NFT, I've already made a video talking about it, which you can check it out here if you want. But basically, think of NFT like a unique ID to your digital asset. And guess what NFT is built upon? Yep, Ethereum. If you are new to crypto, you might not be aware of this, but there's a difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just digital gold. You just buy it and you hold, or you sell it to what big big. There's nothing else that you can do with Bitcoin. But on the other hand, you can actually create stuff with Ethereum. 
For example, there are lots of cryptos that are created with Ethereum, like your Tether, USDC, Shiba Inu, Crypto.com coin, and so on. Besides that, there are lots of platforms that is created with Ethereum, like the SE Infinity game, Uniswap, SushiSwap, OpenSea, and so on. However, the problem with Ethereum now is that it uses proof of work system. Basically, it tries to solve complex math equations to validate transactions. And Ethereum is becoming more and more popular. As a result, its transfer fee is super duper high. And right now, Ethereum energy consumption is going to the moon. Actually, using as much energy as Philippines, which has a population of 109 million. But luckily, there are already plans to switch it to the proof of stake system to make it much more environmental friendly. If you don't understand anything that I say just now, Never mind, I also can't explain it all in this video. Possibly, I will make another video to explain Ethereum. But what you need to know is this Ethereum will play a big part in the metaverse by acting as the building block for the economy. And therefore, I believe that Ethereum will do well in the future. So, anyway, those were the six ways to invest in the metaverse. What other ways do you know of? Let me know down in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.